What is going on guys? JD here from the Hershey Act and it feels so good to be back on the channel. And man, since my last video, Hershey Park has announced so, so much. Hershey Park has announced so much in the past few weeks. So in this video, I just want to take some time to talk about all the announcements Hershey Park has made, maybe do a little bit of speculation and analysis on what it could mean for the park. So with that, we have a lot to talk about, so we have no time to waste. So let's jump to our first headline. First things first, a Jolly Rancher remix, the Sidewinder repaint. Boy, oh boy, we have a lot to talk about here. If we just jump to the Hershey Park website and you jump to the page four, Jolly Ranch remix, this is what it says as the ride description. The Hershey Park skyline just got brighter with Jolly Ranch remix attraction. This rematching coaster takes you and your senses forward and back on the same flavorful track. Blast through the flavor tunnel, invert six times 90 seconds, and jam to sweet tunes. The best part, each ride is different. And that's what I want to talk about first. Each ride is going to be different on Joy Ranch Remix. You see you have the flavor tunnel here. Supposedly that's going to blast various scents of the Joy Rancher flavors, as well as have musical tunes. Now, I'm not quite sure if there's going to be a different song for each flavor sense, or if there's just going to be a series of songs that's going to vary throughout the rides. But one thing for sure, compared to Sidewinder, this is a completely different experience. Is it a different credit? I wouldn't go that far necessarily, but this is definitely a much different experience through and through, whether for better or for worse. I know some were complaining about the paint job, but man, this is truly eye-catching if you look at all the artwork and the footage Hershey Park is putting out on their website, obviously animated footage. Nonetheless, this is a lot going on here and there is so much to talk about. The biggest question that jumps to my mind, at least when I first saw this, this is still the biggest question on my mind, is how much are these flavor scents and songs going to impact the ride? Is the scent going to be super strong? I mean, if you look at the tunnel on the um, on the animated footage that Hershey Park provide, it looks like it's going to be pretty intense. you got some smoke going through it. I imagine that scent is going to hit you really hard when you go through that tunnel, but we're going to have to wait and see. I'm also very curious how these songs are going to play out. I really hope Hershey Park can come up with some catchy tunes. I hope it's something that else that's not going to get annoying very fast, because I'm sure Hershey Park wants this ride to be as rewritable as they possibly can, and I think the scent and the song is going to be a huge, huge part in that. So we just got to wait and see when the ride opens, if this will be true or not. I'm also curious if you'll be able to smell these scents from outside the ride, perhaps outside mix, which we will talk about here in a minute. I'm very, I'm very curious to see how this scent thing plays out. How strong it's going to be? Maybe it won't be as strong. Like, what if you, what if you have someone that doesn't necessarily like the sense of Joy Ranchers? Is that really going to impact the ride for them, or is it not going to as much? That was a big question on my mind. Everything else about the ride is pretty much the same as the original Sidewinder. The two biggest differences for me when I saw that, obviously, the colors are different, but that scent tunnel, I cannot wait to see how that plays out. I am thinking about making a separate video where I go more in depth about talking about that. If you'd like to see that, definitely comment that down below. But yeah, very interesting to see how the scent and the song plays into this ride. And through and through, I'm just really excited to get on Joy Rancher Remixed and see how big of a difference it is from Sidewinder. That's the big question on my mind. How big of a difference is this going to feel from Sidewinder? I think it's going to be a significant one, but we can't really tell until we get on it, which hopefully will be around Memorial Day weekend when this coaster is being scheduled to open. Next up, we have Mix, flavored by Jolly Rancher. This is Hershey Park's new for 22 brand new attraction. This is a San Perla flat ride that will be placed right in front of Jolly Rancher Remix, and that is where my first question comes up. I'm very curious to see how Hershey Park really organizes this section of the park in terms of the queues for these rides, the entrances, the exits, because these are two brand new rides that are being placed right next to each other in a very tight area. So I'm very curious to see how Hershey Park manages the lines and crowds for this section of the park, especially considering Storm Runner is right there as well. This area of the park will probably be very crowded in 2022. But anyways, back to mix. This is Hershey Park's brand new flat ride, and again, if we go to the Hershey Park's website, this is how it describes the ride experience. The ride begins by spinning 360 degrees, then shifts into gear and mixes and lifts, drops, and there are four scene views while dodging the other riders. First you'll ride forward, then you'll ride backwards for an experience that's anything but ordinary. 
And if you look at the animation footage, the ride basically speaks for itself. You're going to be going around spinning in circles on both the X and Y axis while dodging other riders and Joy Ranch Remix in a very close area. It honestly looks like a lot of fun. It's a great addition to Hershey Park Slamp. They were in desperate need of more family-friendly flat rides and just more flat rides in general. So I love this addition. I'm just very, very surprised that this is where this ride's being placed, not only that close to Joy Ranch Remix, but I'm also surprised that these rides are not going in Hershey's Chocolate. Town. I'm not necessarily disagreeing with the park's decision, I just feel like with the Joy Rancher theme, perhaps Chocolate Town may have been a better fit, but nonetheless, here we are in Pioneer Frontier with two Joy Rancher theme rides. What do you know, 2022 is just bringing all sorts of madness. The last thing, and probably the most surprising thing I wanted to talk about in this video was something Hershey Park announced just recently on their Instagram page. Before I talk about it, I'm just gonna show you the video from the park's Instagram. New scarier experiences are coming to Hershey Park this Halloween season, and this is by far the announcement I'm most excited for. I've been waiting my entire life for Hershey Park to add their own version of Haunt. Don't get me wrong, I love Hershey Park in the dark, but when you look at their competitors, such as Six Flags Great Adventure, they put, they put on an incredible Halloween attraction, and Hershey Park looks like it's going to be adding something of their own. The video doesn't give too much information, which makes sense. I mean, Halloween is still months away. Hershey Park still has a summer season to be focused on, but to see that they're adding adult-themed rides for the Halloween season makes me so, so excited. I cannot wait, and I'm honestly really surprised. Throughout the company's entire history, Hershey Park has always been about the families, but this attraction right here is definitely designed for adults and for scary experiences, which I'm so excited for. I cannot wait to see what the park comes up with. I'm curious to see how this is going to work, if they're just going to completely ditch the family-friendly aspect of Hershey Park in the dark, or perhaps this will be an after-hours thing. Who knows? But only time will tell. I'm sure we'll get more information as we get closer to Halloween. If you want to get more updates on this, definitely subscribe to this channel. This will be your number one source for all of that good stuff. But with that, those are all the major announcements Hershey Park has made. Definitely comment down below which one you're most excited for. I'd love to get a conversation going with you guys in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, like, and again, for more Hershey Park news, analysis, and more videos, make sure to subscribe to the Hershey Act. With that, that's all the time I have for you guys today. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Hopefully, I will see you soon. Peace.